it was 46 degrees and I decided it was a good day to get in my air conditioned ute, go to town and get the mail. On the way I decided to just go past some sheep which happened to be out in a, an 800 hectare reserve and it took me about an hour, no preparation, no hat, no water and um, just as I went to shut the gate having completed the job I felt this just enormous single pain straight in the middle of my chest and you hear people say it's like a, an elephant on your chest and I knew straight away what was happening. So I drove myself 25 kilometres to the nearest town of Tamman after you know a, a few phone calls luckily from the lady that was at the post office that knew what she was doing uh, we got a local ambulance uh, and they were able to deliver me to a hospital in the next town which was about 20, another 25 kilometers away and uh, got me straight into the hospital and uh, apparently i don't i'm told this within 10 minutes i arrested more or less just as I arrested or around that time is when they hooked into the, the telehealth service in Perth and at the other end um, in Perth was the cardiologist that I have no doubt um, you know, assisted in saving my life. I have to say I was totally sceptical when I heard that they were going to put this uh, video screening into hospitals and when I heard about it I just thought it was another excuse uh, not to encourage doctors to be in the country. We've lost so many services I just thought it was was going to be another one and this was a way of covering it up and of course because I owe my life to it um, my attitude towards that has, has done 180 degrees. To me it is the greatest technological advance that I've seen in 20 years, maybe ever in the country as far as specifically health goes and there's absolutely no question, just none whatsoever, um, that I would be standing here without the assistance that I received on that day by the people at both ends of that uh, new service.